So, you're curious as a life coach, does social media actually help you find clients? Well, if you're curious about that and you're looking to find new clients quickly with or without social media, this video is for you. We all win when we all win. We all win when we all win. Hey there, my friend, it's Super Sid, the Marketing Shaman, and I help life coaches and healers make their first or next 100K with profitable presentations. And in today's video, we're specifically gonna be talking about social media, social media marketing, how you can use social media, right, to go out there as a life coach and help and use social media to help you generate leads and ultimately find new clients as a life coach, helping you make your first or your next 100K this year. In this video, we're gonna be going over to a video video that I just recently shot and in that video we talk specifically about how you can use social media right now today to find your next client as a life coach. So without any further ado, let's go in to the training. Does social media actually help life coaches make money? And this is an important question because I think a lot of life coaches right coming coming to social media is i don't want to say it's still a new thing but it's starting to become very aware that social media is viable when it comes to making money right as a life coach there's still a lot of life coaches that don't properly know how to use social media and i want to go over kind of the, the basics of what we want to make sure that we are doing on social media every single day because social media is the number one driving force when it not only comes to us finding clients but it also comes to the clients that are life coaches who we work with find as well. So ultimately, you know, social media has been around forever. It didn't start with Facebook, right? There was plenty of stuff before Facebook, but social media in general, whether you're looking at Facebook, TikTok, you know, Instagram, YouTube, um, LinkedIn, you know, I mean, Clubhouse, I mean, you go on and on and on. But what social media is, is it is a platform for people to collaborate and be, you know, be social on, right? Now, people are going to go to social media for information. Think about when you go to social media. Are you going to check up on an old friend of yours? Or are you going to see what's going on with someone in your family? Or are you just going on to scroll? Because you want to see what's happening in the world? Right now, it happens to all of us. Um, you know, so basically, you know, what we're looking to do is social media is nothing more right, than a place for people to come and communicate. The thing is, is to get to social media, you either have to go to the app on your phone or you have to what? You have to go on the computer and type in the social media website and then log into an account. It's just not, it, you know, people tend to think social media is just always there. It's not, you have to log in, right? You have to plug into it. So, you know, so what we wanna make sure though is, does it actually help people find clients? And if it does, how does it help people find clients? Well, the truth is, right, is especially over the past couple of years, as you all can imagine, right, as you know, there's just been a lot of craziness in the world and a lot of us have been, you know, stuck inside, stuck in our homes. The truth of the matter is, is when we're looking for information or we're looking to get help with something, what are a lot of people doing? They're going to places like Google, right? They're going to places like, you know, Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, right? They're going to places like YouTube and searching for videos on help with things. Have you ever went to YouTube and looked for a how-to video on getting help with something, right? And you know, they might, you know, and then from there, they might just always be on TikTok. So they might go to, you know, they might be going to TikTok because you know, that's where their people are. So they go to TikTok, that's the social media they're on. Or maybe they go to IG, IG is huge, right? IG is massive, so maybe they go to IG. And they're going to these places and with IG, they're looking up hashtags. TikTok, they're looking up hashtags. YouTube, they're doing a search, right? You got LinkedIn, they're doing a search. You got Facebook groups, they're getting in proper Facebook groups that are gonna be able to help people. And you got simply just going into the Google browser and searching Google, right? Ultimately though, what's happening is people, when they are looking for information, they are going to one of these places and getting set up into one of these places and there's many others. This is not the only list. This is just, you know, part of the list. But they're going into all of these places and they're looking for that information. Right? You've done it. I've done it. We've all done it. Right? And we probably do it unconsciously every single day. But the truth of the matter is, is when we understand that, this then will eliminate the fact that, you know, you have to be online. Meaning that, you know, that you don't need to be on social media. You know, you don't need social media. Because here's the fact, right? Here's the fact. And we talked a little bit about this a few videos ago, 
but it all comes back down to this marketing triangle, right? Right, we have a message. I mean, we have a market, I'm sorry. We have a market, we have a message, right? And then we have media, right? So when we're talking about social media, we're specifically talking about media, okay? So the way that this is going to fit is if we have the marketplace and we know who it is that we're talking to, we talked about that a couple of videos ago, and then we have you know the message, so now we're communicating what it is that we're doing with people and they understand it and are walking toward, wanting to walk toward us if they hear the message. Now this message, right, needs to be on the media that the marketplace is on. So this is what becomes very important is if we don't get that marketplace right, the message and, you know, or, and if we don't get the media right, then guess what? If all of your prospects or the big part of your marketplace is say on YouTube, right? But you're over there on uh, TikTok putting all your content and there's barely anybody who needs your help on TikTok. Again, it doesn't matter how good your messaging is, how good your marketing is, or how good your content is because you're on the wrong media and there's just simply not eyeballs there that need help with a solution that you're wanting to help. So social media provides that gap. We know that people are going to places online. We know that they are going to social media online to get help, to collaborate, to get into groups, right, and to, and to join communities that are going to help them get to where they want to get to and help them with the goals that they have. The truth that we want to make sure that we're doing is that we are in these places ready to help those people when they come there. And the best place to do that, right, is social media. And the best place to do that right is by making sure that we have accounts in social media letting people know who it is that we are what it is that we do and how it is that we can help them because when we start helping these people right and we start putting things out there that can help these people and they start searching us on social media we then want to have things set up with like our profile funnel our friend request hacks things like that where we can make sure that when people find us for the first time they stick to us and we get them into one of our lead magnets whether it be our facebook groups our free books or lead magnets or possibly even come into our next profitable presentation where we can start helping them by actually helping them so this is really where social media i mean as you all know social media has blown up Right, social media. Sorry, social media has blown up in the last couple of years. But we got to remember, social media is the market when it comes to this marketing triangle, right? And if we're not, I mean, I mean, sorry, it's not the market; it's the media. And if we're not on the right media with social media, then guess what? Right? It doesn't matter how good our messaging is. It doesn't matter if we nailed our market. Our market's simply not on the media. It's going to fall on deaf ears. No one's going to listen to it. No one's going to want our help. And guess what? No one's going to get our help. And you're not going to sign up nearly as many people, if any because you're not on the right media that you need to be on to talk to the people who need your help. Are you a life coach or healer who's looking to make your first or next six figures as a life coach or healer? Well, then I got a free gift for you called my 100K Life Coach Launch Guide, and you can grab that 100K Life Coach Launch Guide right now in the description. Just click down here in the description, and you can grab this 100K Life Coach Launch Guide, which is gonna be a 22-page guide showing you how you can go out there and become a life coach and make six figures as a life coach following our very simple three-step system. Make sure to click that um, link down there in the description and grab your free copy of that 100K Life Coach Launch Guide right now. And don't forget, we all win when we all win. I choose to win today and I hope you choose to win by clicking down there below and grabbing your free copy of this 100K Life Coach Launch Guide right now. We'll see you in the next video.